What is going on guys, Vlad here with AsolusPLC.com. If you enjoy videos on PLC programming, HMI development, or any other application development for industrial automation, consider hitting this subscribe button down below on your screen. And of course, the notification bell to receive the latest videos that I will be putting out on this channel. Without any further delay, let's get into today's video. All right, so today we're gonna be animating an object within Factory Talk View Studio. There was a question that was asked within the Udemy course and essentially it is how to animate something based on a rotation. So whether you have a fan, some kind of a pump or just want to rotate an object, very, very important skill to have. So we're also online with the PLC, which is the Compact Logics L24 ER series. And we're going to be tying in our HMI to this PLC. So we're going to start off by creating a new display. So I'm going to just uh, create a blank display. And within this, we're going to find ourselves an object to animate. So symbol factory is a very, very good start. So I'm going to double click that and see what kind of stuff we can find. And let's look for some kind of a uh, fan or I guess motor, it doesn't really matter too much at this point. But let's see, uh, this looks okay. Let's see if the let's see if there's a pump that we can animate. Uh, so just um, to have a good example, I guess it doesn't really matter what we animate as long as it uh, it works, you can definitely create your own object. Let's look also at the images or the library. So let's see here if there's some kind of a fan, I'm looking for something that would make sense to uh, rotate. So let's see motors here. What do we find inside of the motors? And of course, here, so this is a very, I guess, not super greatly designed fan, but let's copy that into our new system. And as you can see the fan here, let's see if there's any animations that are coming in with it. So there is going to be a rotation animation. And as you can see, it is a blink fast. And all they're doing is let's actually see if we can put that and see if we can play this fan i guess we cannot um so we do need to create that tag i believe let's see here so it's based on system blink fast uh we should be able to see that uh we should be able to see that tag so system blink fast let's go back into our tags that's going to be based off the hmi tags and let's see if that is indeed correct so tags, and that should be within the system folder. But of course, we're going to be looking to animate something based on a PLC value. So while that's loading, we can go back to the PLC. And here we have a tutorials, let's add a new program. So this is going to be FT view tutorials, let's call it that it's going to be a periodic task. That's okay. And then within this, we're of course, going to schedule a main, let's see here. So underscore zero one underscore main. So the main is going to be the uh, routine, which is going to link to all the other ones. And here, let's do this new routine underscore 10. This is going to be a rotation. And of course, the main needs to be actually the main routine of this program. So let's see here, we can go into properties. And from here on out, we can call the main as our routine. Let's see here. Main is the main perfect, we'll hit apply hit okay. And now the main should execute based on that. So here we're going to create a jump to subroutine. Actually, let's just copy paste of a different main. Uh, I guess I didn't create that in many of them. So anyways, let's um, create a new instruction, which is going to be a jump. So GSR and underscore 10 a rotation, no input parameters. Let's remove all that. There's going to be no return parameters as well. That's going to be the main within the uh, factory talk view tutorial. And of course, in rotation, we want to create some kind of a tag, which is going to be uh, animating the rotation. So here, let's go double check in the system if we have this blink fast blink slow. So all they're doing, as you can see, blink fast and blink slow, it says changing every 100 or five uh, 500 or 100 milliseconds. So slow is 500 fast is one. Let's see if that is the case. So I believe that only works within the HMI it doesn't work on the simulation because it's um, yeah, I guess it is actually 
changing but as you can see this animation is just really poor i know that a lot of programmers do use this animation but as you can see it's not truly rotating in my opinion it's just blinking left and right so we're going to create something a little bit better than this and we're going to leverage the same animation style but we are going to create our own tag and so here we're going to create this hmi rotation so this is the tag which is when enabled we do want to rotate and the rotation is going to essentially enable a uh, we can do a counter but we can do a timer as well so this is going to be a t, t on instruction so hmi underscore rotation uh, preset um, so essentially the uh, larger you make your presets the more of a rotation you can get and let's see here new hmi rotation and timer this is going to be a program based timer that's okay let's create that we're also going to create this boolean or we already did um and then let's see here so we're going to start off with a thousand accumulated as zero um what is the what is the problem here it should be okay now. Okay, so HMI rotation is a timer. Okay, sorry. Um, so this is going to be enabled. HMI rotation enable is going to be a boolean. So new. I didn't realize that I named both of them HMI rotation. So that definitely does not work. So we're going to have a boolean which enables the timer. And um, of course, what needs to happen is the timer needs to count all the way up, and then it needs to reset. So we're going to have an XIO here. So while the timer is not done, it's going to count. And then, of course, it's going to reset. Let's see here. Let's toggle this just to test. As you can see, the timer is counting up all the way to 1,000. It is a pretty fast count. So what we can do is we can make that 10 seconds, for example. And that's going to either increase or slow down our rotation, as we will see in just a second. So HMI rotation is going to be our tag. Let's go back to the HMI screen. We're going to right click this animation and then we're going to modify this rotation. So instead of using the system tag, what we're going to do is we're going to go into tags. Here we will have our PLC, but I'm going to refresh that connection just to make sure that we have the latest and greatest online tags. Um, within the online section, we can navigate down to that to that program, Factory Talk U Tutorials, as you can see. And within the rotation, we can see that we have the access to the timer. We're going to hit OK. And here, as you remember, our minimum is this. And then our maximum, instead of being... So actually, this is in degrees, so 360 is fine. But uh, use tags min and max property values read from tags so the minimum is going to be well the minimum is going to be zero can we put that as a zero that should be okay and the maximum should be the preset of the timer let's see that if that works uh, it should be able to take it let's take that and see what uh, what kind of animation we get i believe we are linked to the plc correctly so everything should be working fine item is no longer available let's see here So we should definitely be cycling that tag, which is the accumulated tag. Let's double check this. So rotation on the accumulated tag, that is correct. And the minimum, let's just, uh, so yeah, I guess it's not taking this minimum. Okay, let's try with a constant first, and then we can always change that later. Let's do 0 to 10,000, just like we've specified. So here what we're doing is we're essentially rotating along the axes as you can see it's uh, a little bit weird with this particular image because it seems like it's kind of squishing it around but it is definitely rotating uh in the realm of ten thousand. but what we, what we can change as well is if we go into display settings what's really neat uh there's going to be a um an update rate so i believe actually this is not something that we can change Let's see here. So there's a way to change the update rate of the animation. So let's see back here. And I actually want to change the tags as well. Let's see, use constant apply. 
So we can make this move faster or slower depending on what we specify in here. So let's match those up. 1000 on both of the PLC and the HMI. That should make it rotate a little bit faster. And as you can see, that's the exact effect that we're looking for. If we stop this, we can increase the smoothness of our rotation. So once again, if I go into rotation and I make this tag, let's say 100. And then what this is going to do is essentially it's going to rotate really fast. But um, you have to realize that what's happening is that the HMI is not updating the tags as fast as it is actually uh, displaying this. And actually, I did find so this is the minimum tag update rate. Let's set that to 0 0.05 until the display is reopened. So we're going to close this off. We're going to save the changes. This is going to be underscore 60 rotation. And let's see if we can reopen this HMI screen. And if we can see if we can see that uh, animation being performed at a much faster rate, let's see here. Okay, so it looks like 100 is definitely not the value we're looking for. So of course, this is going to be the speed at which it revolves. Let's take a second into there. So 1000 on both the HMI and the PLC and let's test that out. And as you can see, here's our rotating fan, uh, which is again still going I think a little bit too fast. So now that we have a faster update rate, we can slow that down a little bit. Actually, let's make that 5000 because that's going to be a factor of five instead of a factor of 10. Let's change this to 5000. And let's replay that once again. And as you can see, it is rotating within the full range. It is a very clean motion and it is definitely, uh, you can change the speed, you can change the parameters. So very, very easy to set up. And once you get this going, this is a very easy way to uh, create your animations and you have full control, essentially, whatever that timer does, you can change the speed. So you can make this look at, uh, for example, instead of using this 5000, but you can multiply that by a factor of what the actual speed of the motor is. So for example, if you have a motor set that's 20 hertz versus a motor that's set at 100 hertz, the one that's multiplied, of course, will at uh, 100 hertz is going to be running much faster, even visibly on your HMI. So really, really cool trick and an easy way to create your rotational animations. If you guys have any questions, make sure to post them and I will definitely help you out. Thank you guys so much for watching my content. If you have any questions on this topic, make sure to leave them in the comment section below. And if you can spend five seconds of your time liking as well as sharing that video, if you've enjoyed it, that would mean absolutely the world to me. And if you have any suggestions for the channel, what kind of hardware software I should be covering, then make sure to leave that down there as well. See you next time. Take care. Bye.